Now to our other top story tonight, 24 hours after a massive brush fire tore through a Polk County community, some people are being let back into their neighborhoods. We have been tracking the fire, now dubbed the Wright Gate Fire, since it began yesterday afternoon. Crews now have it fully contained after a days-long battle. Earlier today, a small plume of smoke was seen by Sky 10 compared to the intense flames we saw last night and massive plumes of smoke yesterday afternoon. The fire burned 1,000 acres and destroyed 200 outbuildings before it was contained. 10 Tampa Bay's Angelina Salcido returned to River Ranch tonight to find one neighbor in the midst of a miracle. Hundreds of camps lost here at River Ranch. The staff here warning people that the fire risk is extreme tonight. Families tell me that they are devastated, but one family is surprised by what they're calling a miracle. In the crisp Florida air, surrounded by nature. It's a home away from home. It's uh, heaven. Rebecca and Eric enjoy the camp they've had for three years. And a way to get away from all the Hustle and bustle here in Fort Myers. Eric, a contractor working in the area, is hard as hit by Hurricane Ian. I just went up last week to get away to take a break. And he started building a roof over their camper. There were a few small fires that had started, but they, they, they were contained and under control right away. Uh, there wasn't any issues like there is now. Before. The couple's escape now surrounded by soot, burned trees and homes. We've estimated we've lost approximately 200 outbuildings uh, in the fire with no injuries reported. The Florida Forest Service now estimates nearly a thousand acres were burned. They're posting watch and their, their camps burn and there's really nothing any of us can do. And it's just, it's horrifying. Kids lost their own camps, but for Eric and Rebecca, we're blessed. Thank goodness. And then that's from the grace to God that we're blessed in the fact that he put sand around the camp or the other last week when we were doing the roof over. Blessed their camp is still standing. This Facebook post let them know it was saved. And the woman who posted, she truly is an angel. A miracle in the middle of destruction, but with fires starting almost every week. It is arson. I'd like to see someone get caught because, I mean, there's just, there's too many people that's lost so much out there. Angelina, a tragedy for so many families tonight. Do fire crews have any idea how this brush fire may have started? Right now, the Florida Fire Service says that they don't know what the cause of this fire is, and it's still under investigation. But those that have worked years to create camps out here want to know how this started and why these fires continue to happen week after week. Now, we can confirm that the FFS is investigating and trying to see if there's any information that may point to an arsonist. Right now, a $5,000 reward is being offered for any information that leads to an arrest. Reporting in River Ranch tonight, Angelina Salcido, 10 Tampa Bay.